G'day guys, Steve Morgan here from Fishing Monthly Magazines on a pretty exciting time. This is the launch of Yellowfin Plates. Well, it's the relaunch of the Yellowfin Boats now called Yellowfin Plate, built by Tellwater in South East Queensland. I found uh, a Victorian dealer of these boats up here for the launch, Mark Stav from JV Marine World. Pretty exciting build, but also exciting designs in these new ones. What have we got behind us here? Yeah, hi Steve, how are you? Good. That's good, mate. Well, right here, we've got the new 7000 walk around. Um, it is a brand new build brand new model um, it's uh, it's a fantastic boat heaps of room um, one thing I do like about this boat is that it does have a six mil uh, bottom and four mil sides and um, it comes in a range of real custom colors as well that you can choose uh, to match um, match your design match your car match your house match whatever you like um, let's go back to the, the Yellowfin Plate basics. Uh, yep. Within um, the factory, the Yellowfin factory, they've, they've sort of plucked all of the good welders and the great builders from that Tellwater factory and they've put them into this precinct where they build these boats. And, yep. and a plate boat to a lot of people in Australia is sort of the dream boat, you know, it's like the last good boat you're ever going to buy. Um, the build quality of these really turns ahead, doesn't it? It does. This, is, this has the new offshore uh, HD hull, which um, stands for soft, stable and dry ride in any offshore conditions. Um, I think the rigidity of the hull, we've run it in a little bit of rough water today, yep. um, that rigidity you can feel through it can't you, it's, uh, it feels solid in the water. Oh most definitely, super solid, super quiet. Um, the other thing that these boats come with is they come supplied on the, the Yellowfin trailer and the trailer, the motor, the boats are available in packages to you which have been all factory fitted up which takes a lot of the, uh, lot of the guesswork out of it doesn't it? Oh most definitely, I love that we can buy this boat fully packaged with a G2 Evinrude on the back of it, um, all we've got to do is uh, put a battery in it uh, from the factory and it's delivered straight to your door virtually immediately as soon as it arrives from the, from, off the truck. Um, when we were doing the factory tour, they were talking about the one percenters, those little extra things that make that make the Yellowfin plate relaunch better than the previous uh, the Yellowfin iterations. Take us through those little one percenters. What things have stuck out to you? Well, um, they're no longer just being built straight out of a catalogue anymore. They they do a lot of manufacturing and a lot of new um, the, all the new hatches and all the new doors are all designed by at the factory. The consoles designed at the factory. They've got new blackouts in, in, uh, in with all the, with a few of the accessories. Um, yeah, they're really, really stylish and really good. Yeah, they do look great on the trailer. And we've put this in. We've come for a run up the Broadwater, but we're going to go out now and come back to you with some performance statistics. Well there you go, a pretty good day on the Broadwater to test out these new Yellowfin Plate uh, relaunched hulls. It, was, uh, it wasn't calm, it was a little bit rough and there were some big boats out on the school holidays down here in South East Queensland. Um, let's go straight to the subjective things and that's the, uh, the, the feel of the ride in these boats. So I've been in plenty of Yellowfin boats over the years and I can say that this one here, this 7000 centre cab, is the most comfortable Yellowfin that I've been in. Uh, the, the hull feels solid, it actually takes a bit of trim and you can drive this boat so that it not only lands softly, but it also uh, it, it, it's not noisy as it lands. And uh, anyone who has had any experience in plate boats knows that these things can be noisy and they can resonate. I think it's something to do with that, uh, that foam filled, very sturdy, very rigid hull that does that. Um, I also love the practical console in this boat. I'm a big fan of not mounting any of your expensive electronics on brackets at all. You can fit some really big electronics here, both from your motor and for your fish finder. And those both fit, fit in dash, um, they won't rattle around and they're very easily visible from the places that you're gonna fish in this boat. Um, I love the fact 
that uh, that large esky that's in the um, in the console seat. Uh, it has the reversible seat on it to sit on, but also it's got a capacity which is going to handle a weekend fishing away. You can fill that thing with some dry ice and ice and you can go camping for a week in this thing. And that's the sort of practicality that fishermen like. They buy these things not to go out for a day, they use it to go out for all of their available spare time. Um, like that about the boat as well. Also like the fact that those high rod holders, it's always been a yellowfin uh, and a yellowfin plate trait now, is that the fact that those high rod holders that I have trouble reaching you pull the pin, they fold over, you put the rods in and then they stow up and out of the road. And of course, all of the little 1% things that the guys have talked about uh, today, um, they do make a difference. They make the boat look better, they keep you drier and they keep your gear in good condition. Um, I also like the fact that it's a really easily launched boat. This is a twin axle uh, yellowfin plate boat built trailer. Uh, that's built here in uh, in Cooma in Queensland. Also fairly subjective is the uh, is that Evinrude. It's, got, it's a digital uh, throttle and shift on that Evinrude. Very sensitive, um, very nice to drive, and of course, like all Evinrude motors, that mid-range torque's really cool. Let's go on to some of the economy figures. Um, best speed we hit uh, 5600 RPM, uh, 74 kilometres an hour, but it only got 1.1 kilometres. Uh, for each litre burn, but if you want to drop back down to 3500 RPM, which is the ideal cruising speed for this boat, 44 kilometres an hour and 1.9 kilometres per litre burn, and that is pretty good for a boat of this size. Uh, all in all, um, you can expect to pay mid 80s for a starter package of this pack. That would come with a 150 horsepower G2 instead of the 200 HO, which is on the back here. Um, for more information, you can go to Yellowfin Plate Boats. .com.au and if you want to check out the latest specials of the new releases from the Yellowfin Plate like Yellowfin Plate Boats on Facebook. Uh, until next time, Steve Morgan checking out from Coomera in Queensland.